This is definitely going to need more than a minute. So first word, let's talk about the match. So we have The Miz taking on Dexter Loomis in a ladder match for double or nothing on the money that The Miz was supposed to owe Dexter Loomis. And you know what? The match itself was fun. It exceeded my expectations. I thought there were good spots. I thought the match was paced well. I thought eh, the crowd was a bit off for the most part, but I can't really do much about that. People get fucking excited about the show. If you want an exciting show, try to see something with it. And this goes for all pro wrestling fans, like Jesus Christ. It's just our culture. Be loud. Get excited about it. You'll get your money's worth, I guarantee you. And this is coming from a Denver Broncos fan right now. Yeah, I know. Living in Vegas, fan of the Broncos. I'm a fan of the Raiders too. Is that an oxymoron? Jeez, when did this become a football channel? Anyway, back to this. So we have Bronson Reed, also known as Jonah, returning to attack Dexter Loomis and helping The Miz. I don't mind Bronson Reed returning. The crowd was pretty much dead for it. And this is a glaring issue with WWE right now. It's not the returns. I don't mind if people get work. If WWE wants to sign them, they have every right to do so. And I think it's great that wrestlers are wrestling and getting work. Nothing wrong with it. In fact, I like it. I think a lot of these people were unjustifiably released by Mr. McMahon so they could boast that they're making record profits. I know, bit of a conspiracy thing, but I mean, goddamn, look at my fucking hat. But the issue is, is that they're doing surprise returns when really a lot of these people did not, were not on the main roster, and if they were, they were barely on there. Bronson Reed is a perfect example of that. A great talent, amazing athlete, and I think he's going to be a valuable asset to the roster. But the issue is, is that he was on NXT. The people who watch Raw and SmackDown, very little of them, watch NXT. And even back in the day. And also, Bronson Reed's been gone for a couple of years. People are like, oh, he beat Kazuchika Okada in a one-on-one -on -one match. Was it for a title? Was it a big rivalry? Was it one of those matches where people are like, oh, go ahead and watch it? I watched the match. I liked the match. But I've seen better Jonah matches. I've seen better Kazuchika Okada matches. Whose dick do I have to suck to get a goddamn vignette? That would add more value, and it will also add some context on who's returning. Yet, yeah, you don't get the surprise aspect of it. But surprise returns are meant for people who had a big impact. If Okada showed up on Raw, people would know who that is. Because he was a huge champion. I like Jonah, but he's not on that level. I still like the ladder match. Full thumbs up.